High above the Jazza Studios office, there waited a prop to be used for a video activity. And today is the day for the use of that prop in the... I've ruined the epic t- Shut up, you! No! I ruined the epic tone. But the point is, I'm going to be bringing out old Hulky Hulk here. My high detailed 3D print. And I have my high detailed teeny weeny 3D print. And today I'm going to clean them up and paint them both. This has been something I've wanted to do since I printed them and I've just needed some supplies. So on the weekend I got those supplies and, uh, and I'm going to paint them. I'm actually just going to treat them as if it's like Warhammer because that's the only way I know how to paint miniatures. And I'm hoping it'll work. Um, obviously you have to do like the base coat and prep it, maybe a little bit of sanding or whatever. But I think it, it should be fairly straightforward, fingers crossed, but I know it's going to be fun. Recording. Thank you. Um, I need some sort of intro. What's a good intro? You know how people are like, we have a Hulk. That's like a quote. What's a good quote? Because I have a big Hulk and a little Hulk. Surely there's a, surely there's a gag there. Come on, Jazza, be funny. Come on. <clears throat> we have a Hulk. That's not a Hulk. Hang on. Can't get a straight face. You're interrupting oh, several recordings. Are you just, like super busy? We have a Hulk. Ah! Oh, for f sake. I'm here, So I'm doing this outside, obviously, so I don't make too much of a mess. It's, uh, it's a little finicky, and this is the big one, so I have a feeling sanding the little one is going to be quite tricky. Yep, I was right. This is so tiny. <laughs> oh my god. Just remembered that before I get stuck into painting these things, I need to get some pictures of them unpainted, uh, potentially for the thumbnail. So PJ, I'm gonna grab your help with that. If you could get the point and shoot. Oh, good, we're getting cozy. <laughs> All right, how's that look? So I've done my base coat and on the one hand it looks way cooler than it did before, it brings out all the detail, but on the other hand it brings out all the detail. So you can see where there's a layer of print here, you can also see, if you look really close to the, um, these hairs are still there and I can sand them back, or, but I've tried to already and I feel like especially with areas like this I actually am going to need a power tool like a little Dremel or something just to properly shave them back a little better. So I'll leave these, these to dry fully. Uh, I'll come back, sand them back nice and flat, at least in the most important areas, and then we'll do another few coats. But how cool is that? It's already looking like pretty damn awesome. All right, just pulled up at the local hardware store. I'm gonna go inside and get some sort of Dremel, I guess, for some finer detail sanding. Quite a fair bit of itching there. I have no idea how to use one of these things. I just know I need to use it. That's not right. Press you, put you in, twist you, lock ya, tighten you up. And I bet you that's what the instructions say to do. Now it's going to explode, you ready? Oh. Yeah, I did good. I hope. I don't know what this thing does, but I feel like it might do what it, whoops, what I want it to. Ah! You ready for a wild ride, PJ? I've been ready <laughs> for like the past five weeks. That's true. Let's see if this does what I want it to. Oh yeah, there you go. That's perfect. So this won't growl, grouch, this won't gouge it out, but it's removing all the teeny tiny bits. Can you zoom in on like some of the hairs before I remove them all? Uh, if you come in this side, I think there's a bunch in there. So if you focus in there, you got that? Yeah. 
All right, so I've done two coats of black after the cleanup and one coat of white. This is what the little guy looks like. That is pretty cool if you ask me. Let me just make sure it's in focus. There we go, look at that. Look at him, he looks awesome. And then the white coat on top really brings out some of the details by keeping the, uh, the dark black coat in the nooks and crannies. So that's the little guy and then this is the big guy. And obviously there's a lot more detail on him just in larger areas. So his face just looks much cleaner and uh, you know, it's gonna be overall easier to keep his general features really visible and clean. So I'm gonna move forward and spend the next four or five hours painting these things and listening to audiobooks. I really love this process. As a young man, Gavin had liked to cut off a skate that liked to overwhelm, dominate, and destroy, even if it carried a higher risk of defeat. On some signal he hadn't seen, a servant came from the hallway, where he must have been since why I gave up my promotion. Cruxer said quietly, half of it anyway. Tear and the squad knew the other half. It was the same as theirs. Lightbringer. <sighs> okay, this is carried on to day two. So I took all day yesterday to, to get it 95 99% done, uh, but I do have to finish off the painting and then the, the talk to camera stuff. So I'm just carrying over the vlog. I'll show you the back of my tiny Hulk. There you go. That's that's the that's the sneak peek you get. They, they look pretty cool from the front, but you're gonna have to wait till the video comes out and the big Hulk looks awesome. But I'm not gonna show you because you have to wait till the video comes out, which actually should be next week. So you won't have to wait that long. I have to hide my activity because I, I can't let you see the end result. But PJ just tells me that I'm past 3 million subscribers! Ah! That's, that's really, really good news. Thank you all so much. And a ray of sunshine today because I've been pissed off at the autofocus on this for the last hour. That's really cheered me up. Thanks, guys. I do have a video idea, but I'm waiting for something to come in the mail. So, there will be a celebratory video. Hopefully next week. That's crazy. It's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Look at that. That's insane. Honestly, I <laughs> it, it's blowing my mind a bit. I never expected the channel to become this, and I'm just so grateful that I get to do what I do. All right, that does it for today and yesterday as well. It was a really productive week. It's just been crazy. And I've got to say, one of the MVPs of this week, one of the two MVPs, I guess, is PJ. Round of applause for PJ. Oh, PJ, what a legend. Look at you go, PJ. High five, PJ. For God's sake, PJ. Honestly, this week has been one of the first intense work weeks we've done together where we've really just got the uh, the vibe happening. I've recorded four videos this week. PJ's on his fourth edit. It's amazing. And considering the amount of content we have to get through in the next two weeks, so we have enough content to keep three videos a week while we're away at VidCon, we have a lot of work ahead of us. But this week, if it says anything, it says that we can do this and we're gonna try. So uh, a quick question of the day, Hatim Sudani says, what is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me no more. I'm sorry. I had to. That's all. I, that's. I just had to do that. I, I actually don't have time for a proper question of the day, but I will take a whole bunch on Monday because to celebrate 3 million subscribers on this channel, let's just do a massive Q&A. So in this video, Q colon, leave your question. Directions are in the, the, the description to so I can find a question. But um, yeah, I'll just answer a whole bunch because I'm recording a fairly straightforward video on Monday. So I'll spend a bit of time answering some questions with you guys. Thank you so much for watching this weekend today. And until next time, I'll see you later. Oh, and thank you for 3 million subscribers. That's awesome.